In my videos, I use these quite a bit. So they're just breadboard jumpers that uh, are male on both ends right there to plug into a breadboard really easily. And then I just crimped these uh, alligator clips. So I just used uh, pliers, these pliers right there, to uh, crimp it down. So probably not the best way to do this, but it's worked pretty good. They're, they're holding pretty good. The plastic's just sliding forward there. And then I can just uh, clip those. A lot of times I clip them to multimeter probes and stuff so that I can measure part of the board while leaving my hands free. So to get the uh, plastic off, and again, you'll see this in a lot of my videos. You'll see an alligator clip. I use these covers to like cover up light dependent resistors and stuff to get it completely dark. So in any case, I clip it like that and then the cover will slide right off. If we could not get the cover over an end of the wire for whatever reason, we would have to slide it on like this and then get the uh, wire crimped on there but I'm gonna get it off right there because it's just more in the way than anything and so now I'm going to uh, zoom in a little bit I'm just holding the end of the wire with my finger down there so we don't want the uh, plastic so now I'll bend it down a little bit there's a little hole right there that is where I stuck that and then so I'm going to hold that as good as I can with my finger and we got a good grip there. So now these tabs are out a little bit and so if I squeeze uh, straight down right now they'll spread out. So I want to move them in. Let's try to keep that focused. So there's a little tab there. Hopefully you can see it. But in case going to the side but I'm not squeezing yet. I'm twisting it. So that uh, the one tab on the end, hopefully, you can see that. Let's just do it this way. Squeeze them together as close as we can. There you go. That's working much better. Much easier to see. Now I'll squeeze that over. And then this one, same thing. And then once they're facing each other enough, then I'll just squeeze straight down. There we go. So now I'm just going straight down on the two of them. And we should have a pretty good grip there. So with these other ones, instead of uh, bending the uh, metal back, which looks like it'd be pretty tricky, I just uh, flattened it best I could. Let's try that way. There we go. Flattened it down. That helps hold a little bit too. So in any case, we could also put a little solder on there or something, but it is holding pretty good. I'm not pulling terribly hard, but I am tugging uh, pretty good. So now we will just get the uh, cover back on. We're all done. It's that simple right there. So that's what I did with these other ones. They've been working okay. If it was something crucial, you know, I would do a better job and I would solder it. But uh, for just prototyping and stuff, it's been uh, working fine. Haven't really had any problems right there. So that's it for what I did to make these. So hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos that I posted on the screen. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate Patreon if you can. It helps out the most. I have links down in the description. But just watching videos helps out a ton. Thanks for that. I'll see you in the next video.